Ukraine is a country situated in the east of Europe. It's the second largest country in Europe with an area of 600,000 square kilometers, a population of uh, 44 million. And uh, Ukraine is uh, classified as a low and middle income country by World Bank. Uh, uh, we have GDP per capita 8,800 uh, US dollars and uh, spend health expenditures in 2017 was estimated at 7%. In 2018, uh, uh, International Agency for Research on Cancer has uh, produced uh, new estimates of uh, cancer burden worldwide. And uh, uh, on this map, you see the top cancer uh, uh, among males worldwide. And uh, in, U in Europe, the country is divided into two uh, two groups. So Ukraine is uh, the, the, the country where lung cancer is the top cancer among uh, males. When we talk about female incidents, uh, you see that the majority of countries have a breast cancer as a top cancer, and Ukraine also is the one of them. Uh, the most common cancer among females in Ukraine is breast. Uh, among mortality, the most uh, <clears throat> common cause of uh, cancer deaths in Europe as well as in Ukraine is a lung cancer. And uh, among females, you can see that uh, also breast cancer is the top leading cause of death. Uh, Ukrainian incidence rates uh, are among the lowest in the Europe region. And uh, if we talk about top uh, 10 cancers, uh, it's uh, lung cancer, followed by colorectum, prostate, stomach, and bladder cancer. Uh, when we talk about females, the picture is the same. Uh, the lowest, uh, Ukraine is among lowest uh, incidence, has a the lowest, lowest incidence rate, rate uh, uh, in the European, European region. region. Uh, the, the top, top 10, ten countries, top, top 10 cancers are breast, breast corpus uterine, colorectum, cervix, cervix and, and thyroid. thyroid. Uh, but but the, the opposite, the, the, the mortality rates are middle, middle to high, high uh, uh, in Ukraine in, in among males. males. And, and uh, you, you can, can see that, that uh, the top five, five causes of death uh, are again lung, lung cancer, colorectum, stomach, uh, uh, prostate, and pancreas. Uh, among uh, females, the rates, the rates are in the, are in the middle, middle also, and, and uh, the top, the top, the top co 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 cause of death are breast, colorectal, cervix, uterine, ovary, and stomach. When we, when we consider, consider uh, geographical differences, differences in it, within, within the country, we can, we can see, see that the incidence rates are increasing from, from the northwest and part, part of the country to the south. The south and, and to, to the, the east, with the, with the lowest, lowest rates observed in the west of the country. country. Also, also, we uh, observe the uh, large variety in the incidence rates, rates from, from 220 per 100,000 persons up to 300 per 100,000 persons. Uh, among females, the patterns are almost the same. We have the lowest rates in the west of the country and uh, the highest rates in the middle and uh, to the east of the country, including the uh, capital of Kiev. Cancer incidence trends were recently studied uh, for a period 2002-2012 when uh, the whole country was covered with cancer registry uh, and all population was was. <coughs> Reduced, all, all, all cancer cases, cases were registered. And, and we, we observed that uh, incidence trends, uh, incidence rates, rates trends were slightly increasing both in males and in females. But when we uh, consider site specific cancer uh, incidence ra rates, we see that uh, both in males and females, the stomach cancer were one of those decreasing uh, from. 2002 up to 2012. At, at the opposite uh, side, uh, the colorectal cancers were increasing uh, both in males and females. Uh, another example of in decreasing uh, cancers uh, incidence rates are lung cancer and larynx cancers in males. And uh, this is the common situation observed around the world. In many countries, sorry, in, in, in the world, and uh, uh, in Ukraine, it is the same. 
Uh, when we consider uh, more size specific, sex specific cancers, uh, the prostate cancer was among those who are who has the highest increase in incidence rates, and uh, it's going to be it, it is the third cancer in uh, incidence and uh, will continue to increase. And among females, it's a breast cancer that, that at the top of uh, all uh, female cancers. But also, uh, we observed uh, the increase in cervical cancer rates and corpus uteric and uh, thyroid. Uh, in the recent years, uh, there was increase in uh, incidence of non-Hodgkin lymphoma, both in males and females while leukemias remained stable uh, during 10 years period. Uh, on this table, we summarized uh, tr uh, incidence trends in Ukraine during this time period and uh, presented only those that uh, had significant, uh, significantly different from zero annual percent of change. And you can see that uh, stomach in males and females were decreasing and uh, larynx, trachea, bronchus, lung uh, incidence rates were uh, decreasing in males, but the rest of uh, the cancers were significantly increasing during the uh, increasing during 2002-2012. Uh, among one of the highest uh, increase uh, percent change was observed in prostate cancer for males, 4.2 percent, and uh, for females it was thyroid cancer. 4.9 percent. Uh, we did also not only analysis of time trends, but uh, produced short-term predictions up to the year 2022. It was published in the Cancer Epidemiology Journal, and uh, you can see that uh, indeed the uh, decrease in trends of lung cancer and stomach in males will continue, and the second. Uh, Second cancer, uh, second most common cancer in Ukraine among males, are uh, predicted to be prostate cancers. While colon and rectum will slightly continue to increase and become the third one. Also, the increase in uh, incidence of oral cavity and pharynx cancers uh, are, is predicted. When we talk about females, uh, the breast cancer remained the top incidence among top uh, cancers and uh, uh, increase in thyroid will continue to in the nearest future. Uh, the corpus uteri will become the second one uh, uh, changing its place with colon erectile cancers in, in, in the structure of uh, incidents of Ukraine, Ukrainian male females. Uh, we also conducted the uh, composition of change in number of cases between 2012 in 2022 into two components, uh, one uh, to due to changes in uh, population and uh, the second due to changes in risk factors. Uh, the population of Ukraine uh, decreasing in size and also aging, uh, but still it will reflect uh, in the slight change of number of new cases uh, in all sites except uh, for testes uh, among males and uh, lymphoma among females and cervix uteri. Uh, but um, the most uh, change uh, is predicted due to changes in risk factors and in males and in females. All, both are the, the top two cancers are melanoma of skin and thyroid that will have the highest increase. Uh, when we talk about the decreasing number of cases, we can see not only larynx and lung cancer, uh, but also lip, uh, cancer of lip, uh, uh, cancers of uh, liver and uh, stomach uh, in males, and uh, the same stomach and lip cancers in females that will be decreasing. Uh, cancer mortality is presented from the WHO mortality database uh, that is maintained by the International Agency for Research on Cancer. And uh, you can see that uh, mortality rates uh, are stable or even de slightly decreasing in male population of Ukraine. Uh, it 
uh, that comes as presented on this uh, line chart is uh, bladder, liver, lung, larynx, esophagus, uh, pancreas, and so on. Uh, the decrease in stomach cancers is the most uh, observed uh, uh, for the same time period, but uh, increase in prostate cancer mortality rates will, is, will, was also observed. Uh, when we talk about females, uh, the uh, slight increase in colon and rectum cancers mortality, cancer mortality rates was observed, but the rest of the rates were stable again or uh, slowly increase, slowly sorry decreasing. Uh, the same is true for the most common cancers such as breast, uh, uterus, uh, cervix uteri among female population. <clears throat> When we summarized uh, these uh, trends in a table, uh, you can see that most, uh, almost all uh, site-specific mortality rates are decreasing, except for colon cancer that is uh, extracted from the group colon and rectum uh, in females. But uh, for the rest, uh, the trends were uh, decreasing or not, or not significantly decreasing, changing. This is also reflects uh, the change. The same is true for the all, all cancers, uh, excluding non melanoma of skin. Uh, National Cancer Registry of Ukraine is the main source of information for uh, describing cancer burden in Ukraine. It was uh, established in January of 1996 uh, and uh, up to year 2002. The whole territory of the country was covered by the network of regional population-based cancer registries. Uh, the whole country incidence data was collected up to the year 2014, when the drop-down was uh, uh, observed. In this picture, this is uh, we present how population of Ukraine was covered by cancer registration, and you can see that the first years was uh, the registration process started in early uh, 1990s, and uh, we retrospectively collected data up to the year 2000 uh, for the whole country, but since 2014 you see the drop down in the number of registries, but also in the number of uh, uh, covering population that is uh, estimated as 85-90%. Uh, National Cancer Registry collects data from all, for all sites, uh, uh, namely ICD-10 codes uh, C0, C96, but also we collect information about inside two cases. Uh, this is all ages, age groups, uh, cancer registry, uh, including also pediatric cancers. We use uh, state cancer registration system for collecting data on incidents uh, from all institutions delivering treatment or uh, discovering a new cancer case. Uh, for the mortality and follow-up data for uh, respectively mortality uh, evaluation and uh, survival rates, we use active collection. Uh, we are regional oncologists uh, that operates in every district of Ukraine. Uh, at the, End of the year 2019, the database contained uh, 4.4 million records. And uh, we also have a network of uh, hospital-based cancer registries uh, established in uh, majority of uh, oncological institutions or oncological dispensaries uh, that uh, in, in total, they, this, uh, they, the, the, these databases consist of more than one million patient records. Uh, National Cancer Agency of Ukraine uh, is a network of uh, population-based cancer registries here at the National Cancer Institute. We uh, are representing the National Cancer Registry, but uh, at the, every region or every administrative unit of Ukraine, there is a regional population-based cancer registry and Typically, this is a department of statistics within regional oncological institution. Uh, some of the regions have uh, another distribution by, uh, of the population-based registry, and uh, the, whole, the um, 
all the data is collected and inputted at the level of rayons. Uh, all the re regional population-based cancer registries use the same software, they use the same linkage procedures, but unfortunately, uh, exchange of information between population-based registries are mostly paper-based. When we talk about data quality, it was evaluated several times. Uh, uh, data from the Cancer Registry of Ukraine is presented in the Cancer Incidents in Five Continents volumes, 10, 11. Um, uh, data information also presents in European Cancer Information System. Recently, the Childhood Cancer uh, Incidents data was presented in the project uh, international incidence of childhood cancers, but also we support major international classification bits, including ICD-9-10, uh, ICCC-3, icd 3 and uh, TNM of various editions. Uh, as I said, uh, uh, in all, almost all institutions, um, uh, in parallel operates population-based cancer registry, but and uh, hospital-based cancer registry. And uh, you can see that uh, information collected by population-based cancer registry are included into hospital-based systems. And uh, so the information such as information about patient, about tumor, about follow-up of patients and the uh, type of treatment received, which is obligatory for the state uh, reporting, is uh, collected in both systems and it this uh, where eases the process of uh, collecting data. Uh, we est uh, established that from, uh, sorry, we estimated that from 28 to 74 percent of new cases uh, in Ukraine diagnosed in the same oncological institutions where, each, uh, where hospital based cancer registry is operating. This allows automated transfer of information, reduced cost of running population based cancer registry and improves quality of the population-based uh, data because uh, information in the hospital system, information system is more reliable and more complete. Also, uh, due to uh, state cancer care, uh, on call state cancer care, uh, from 60 to 90% of patients receive in or outpatient treatment in the nearest oncological institution which means that uh, information about follow-up and also about treatment is available just right next door to population-based cancer registry. Uh, <coughs> among challenges that uh, National Cancer Registry faces is uh, changes in the uh, healthcare system of Ukraine that started uh, six years ago with the first step of uh, uh, healthcare reform. It, uh, this uh, first step uh, included changes at the primary health care level and affected uh, the uh, follow-up information obtained from the regional oncologist. And this year, uh, from April 1st, uh, we had the second uh, step of the health care reform uh, started and uh, this uh, second step uh, affected oncological uh, dispensaries and oncological institutions. Now they receive uh, budget uh, not by per bed, uh, as was in the Samashko system, but uh, so-called uh, uh, health, health packages or uh, uh, medic guaranteed medical packages which means that uh, institutions are paid by the number of uh, procedures that they de deliver to patients but and not by the number of beds. Also, this uh, accompanies with the uh, introduction of e-health system and uh, the problem of misunderstanding the concept of the role of the population-based cancer registry and e-health. Uh, uh, possible inclusion of the National Cancer Registry into the health system could uh, cause uh, the decrease in quality of data and also uh, a lot of things to be implemented from, from the scratch that was already was implemented for 30 years, over the 30 years. Also, we have the problems with uh, uh, misunderstanding the difference among uh, public health 
specialists and local and national government authorities and uh, other uh, involved persons uh, with the difference between population-based cancer registry and hospital-based cancer registry. Uh, we're trying to solve this problem, but I hope it, it will be later implemented and uh, resolved. Uh, there is another uh, administrative reform that is going to take place in Ukraine uh, that will change the administrative division of Ukraine at the Ryan level. Uh, this also will change the uh, coverage of the population covered by the cancer registration and uh, will introduce changes in the database. Of course, we have the problem in the covered population of the whole country. Uh, especially increase of internal and external migration, which is a big problem since last five years, uh, and uh, to produce uh, survival rates and to evaluate mortality, we have the problem of underestimated uh, mortality and overestimated prevalence because of the absence of uh, access to the patients follow up data from the vital statistics offices at the uh, regional level and uh, because of the, of, of, of the national law and confidentiality and data protection. This also results in the biased survival estimates and uh, we still are not able to produce the re reliable information on survival. Thank you and Jakuza Wawaf.